Welcome to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022 uh, in the men's, uh, women's division, not men's, women's division between Odette uh, Guifrida from Italy and Melissa Hurtado Munoz from Cuba. So the both our competitors are bowing on right now. And we'll get started. So Odette is in the white, and Melissa is in the blue. And so right now we got a left versus right grip. Oh, nice little uh, Dashibrai. Just gets her seated from Odette. Would have liked to have seen a follow-up to that, but... <clears throat> so excuse me and uh and melissa going darting in and out with that uchimata odette going in with the uh basically the roll to try to get an arm bar uh, something i think you see a lot more of in uh grappling circles then or in uh sorry Brazilian jiu-jitsu circles than you do in judo, but uh, hey, it works. If it works, it works, you know? You can't do standing arm bars anymore, so... Yeah, <laughs> there's that. Wait, would that count as a standing arm bar? I don't really know. If you roll right into an arm bar. But I also don't think that this should be illegal, so... <laughs> So I'm going to say it's that would be legal. No problem. So left on right. Not seeing a lot of gripping there. You do worry about uh, a penalty being assessed at least to Melissa for not allowing that grip. Yep, exactly. And that's what's going to happen. So Melissa is now down to Shido because of <clears throat> not allowing that, that sleeve grip. Went in for the nice drive was just a touch too uh, far back. Didn't catch any of Odette's leg. Now, uh, they're back to locking horns via their foreheads. <laughs> the drop, say away. Not bad. A little under-rotated by Melissa in terms of uh, getting in. Uh, would like to see another eighth of a turn. That way it should be at least underneath her. And over the back by Melissa. What's, what type of attack will she do? I haven't seen many too, uh, too many attacks from her at this point. So, yeah. Are these really going to count? That was like... that. None of that stuff is really doing anything. That Odette... Maybe a false attack. You're you're literally bowing in front of uh like you're you're dropping in front of her. Who's gonna get thrown by that? Nobody. So if Odette gets penalized here for the false attack, I wouldn't be too surprised. Okay, but she gets passed. You know, for a guy that doesn't like to see Shido victories, I, I do seem to be calling for him a lot. <laughs> it's like, but I also want to see people, like, actually attack. The false attack now is being assessed to Melissa. So now she's really behind the eight ball in terms of the Shidos. Uh, down two to zero on that end. But you know what? What override Shidos? Eight balls. <laughs> so maybe she's got that in the bag. We've seen that uh, earlier in this uh, tournament. Just because you're down two shooters doesn't mean you can't win. And the Sumigesh uh, is attempted. That's a no-go. In terms of a throw and in terms of uh, any follow-up Neuwaza from that. And, oh. Well, a good drive. A secondary drive from Melissa in terms of... Uh, Coming across for the Taitoshi, but then uh, driving to try to get her onto her side, rolling onto her side. Um, unfortunately for Melissa, Odette had sprawled out pretty well, and splayed out pretty well. Oh, that's going to be the Yipon. 
And that's going to be for Odette, I'm assuming. And Melissa seems very su uh, surprised at that. Yeah. Wait, what? That's not a poll? Okay. I'm surprised now. Huh? So what was called? A Wazari? Something must have been called. All right, so we're seeing a lot more urgency from Melissa. I think time is ticked down. That may be it. If that was truly a Wazari. I can't see anything. Oh, come on. Cameraman, please. They are, he is standing up. The Italian uh, coach is standing up for some reason. That's it. Okay, congratulations to Odette. I think she got a Wazari on that throw. Uh, let's have a look at that again. Uh, I think this is it here. So. The reason why I would say is Odette's. And not Melissa, although Melissa, you know, uh, I think in her mind, she believes the rollover, the subsequent rollover is the reversal. Is that there, you don't see a distinct point where she's really taken over and reversed the throw. And really, you know, by the time that the rollover happens, like the throw has already occurred here. So, um Maybe they called Wazari because they, they believed it was more on the side, which is fair. So I just thought, like, okay, it looked like it was back and the throw was solid enough. But, uh, you know, on review, it's on its side. So good thing that there's professional referees and not me refereeing. refereeing. Anyways, uh, if you have anything that you'd like to contribute in terms of your thoughts, please leave a comment. That'd be great. If you uh, enjoyed this match, consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. That'd be also great. And until next time, until next match, have a great night.